It's really critical to establish boundaries with your puppy. And when I say boundaries, there's a lot of different things where you don't want a puppy in your space. And you need to start teaching them now that they don't need to be in your space for every little thing. This is gonna go for things like when you try to sit down or teaching boundaries with them going in the kitchen or teaching boundaries to them going out the door with you, teaching boundaries, them not pummeling you when you're trying to go down the stairs. The leash is gonna be really valuable with that. Teaching them to have boundaries with your guests, how to have boundaries with the other dogs. If they push the other dogs too much, you can have that leash and show them how to move away from that. If they're chasing the cat, grab your leash. Nope, put a boundary there. Don't let them consistently have free run of the household. Otherwise they will be that hundred pound dog one day that's completely uncontrollable. So I'm gonna give you an example. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna see if Nira gets overly excited and tries to jump on me and stuff like that and show you how to use the leash to create these boundaries and create space when it's necessary. So I'm gonna get her up and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna use this to create a little bit of space, right? She doesn't need to be all up in my business every single time, especially if you have a guest that's older, that doesn't want a dog all over them, the dog needs to learn just to settle. So using that leash to create those boundaries, now she knows I don't want you all up in my lap. I'm just trying to sit down, I'm trying to eat my dinner, whatever it might be, create the boundaries with the leash. I particularly like this because when you have a dog, even a young dog like a puppy, and they are very, very pushy when it comes to boundaries, they're constantly in your space, a big problem that can arise are safety issues. I've seen dogs that trip people while they're trying to walk up and down the stairs, that knock people over when they're trying to go in and out the door. Dogs that will be in the kitchen and get hot water spilt on them or cause people to slip and fall, things like that. We can't have a dog that's that pushy and breaking so many boundaries. So keeping this leash on really valuable, making sure that you're paying attention to those safety situations. And if you're not enforcing them yourself, be mindful that even if the dog is doesn't bother you necessarily, it might bother your children or it might be a safety concern with your guests or it might be a safety concern with the grandparents when they come over. Create those boundaries now so that you don't have to try to challenge a hundred pound dog later on and start to create boundaries when there never have been. Your dog's not gonna understand why you're implementing so many rules all of a sudden. Start when they're young, just use small bits of pulsing pressure anytime the dog is pushy for whatever boundary it might be. You're trying to sit down, you're trying to cook dinner, you're trying to eat dinner, kids are trying trying to play, cat is just wants to have a few minutes to itself. Create those boundaries and teach your dog to have a soft, healthy mindset inside the home so that you can start utilizing that for long-term results.